Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. Happy solstice. It is cold here in yeah, St. Louis cool. and going to get colder this week. But we decided that we were going to hit up a new Goodwill. It was about, what, 20 minutes from your house? Yeah, it's bigger. It's not It's not like the rinky-dink one before, so. The first one I went to. We're hoping to. things. Yes, we're hoping things. We have high expectations again. So we will see you in the blink of an eye and we'll see if they have any treasure. Oh, I always forget. If you're new to the channel, I'm Renee. This is Ramanda. Hi. And we are Gangalized Treasures. We are on the search for- Well, that would be weird. How are they here if they didn't click on it and know who we are? Sometimes they look- Who are you people? Sometimes they look for reselling. Sometimes they look for goodwill. Sometimes oh. they look for other topics. Um, we are after vintage finds, mostly. Um, kitchen decor, small appliances. We also do I'm some- I'm just here to find stuff for me. It's all nice. <laughs> also do some clothing and sometimes some shoes. Um, the last video we just uh, posted was our Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlet haul, which you need to check out. I think we found some of everything. There's mostly stuff for me. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find stuff for the shop. So we'll see you all inside in the blink of an eye. Have you seen any originals, Manda? So when we walked in, I was thinking it's going to have to be a voiceover for the whole thing. And then I was walking and I realized there wasn't any music. And for some reason, my brain was still thinking it's going to be a voiceover. So I didn't talk very much in that first section. And of course, then they turned the music on. So this section is going to have to be a voiceover. I probably should have gotten this little toaster oven. It looked like it was brand new. Um, the cord was still taped up as you can see there's no stains in it there's no crumbs in it um i did not look up the model number and it was less than ten dollars even if i'd kept it for myself it would have been a good deal this is one of those really cool little um home air conditioners like you can sit on your desk and you fill it with water but looking for the cord where's the cord because it's supposed to have a cord that goes right there and there's no cord so that was not a good buy because I don't have the cord there was a bread machine and I know a lot of people sell the DVDs and the VCR players but I guess I don't think I know enough about them I'm looking at luggage because Romana says hey look at the luggage and I'm thinking I don't want to buy any luggage I just want to move and there's the cane Romana bought and she bought found an adorable little unicorn but um, the smaller Stuffed animals, um, you know, unless they're squishables, um, they don't sell very well. Usually it's the older ones. Um, I did look at this one because it was leather, but the material was a little worn, like it had been left out in the sun. And again, I really don't need any suitcases. I just need to get moved and find my new house somewhere outside of the St. Louis city limits. A nice little small town or in the country. Right about here, Ramanda says, Mom, I think you should look this up. Look what I found. It is a Gotha plush. It's a llama. And she found um, a couple squishimals. Well, one's a squishimal and one's like a Thai squishimal. So we did look and those up. Ramanda found these, as she says, fancy schmancy. Tupperware and I don't think I looked them up, but I think we bought them for personal use But anyway, they went in the cart for at least a little while and then she also found this is how to Get the mud off your dog's feet if anybody's had these let me know whether they actually work. We bought it um, I went to look at this face it 
is a hobbyist piece, and it's been painted so well that it's the lid is painted on. This, I was hoping that it was going to be Italy or Hungary. Um, it does say Capri, but I'm assuming that's somebody's name. And this is also a hobbyist piece. I can just tell by the paint. And Romanda's always ahead of me, you know, showing scouts ahead. I thought these were really cool, but the chevron um, wasn't very clear, and there was no maker's mark. If there had been a maker's mark on the bottom, I would have looked them up. I'm noticing that the shelves are not as cluttered as I would like them to be. Um, I don't like them to be so stuffed that I can't see everything, um, but this kind of seemed like it was a little sparse. This, I was hoping, again, would be Turkey, Hungary, um, Germany, maybe, um, but it's Florentine by Jay, so that stayed, although it was pretty. I was surprised that Romanda didn't pick it up and didn't want it for her, and there were a lot of teapots, and also I noticed that there were um, a lot of music boxes. She wanted me to look at this pot pottery set, which is really, really cute, but it's missing pieces. It has the sugar, it has the teapot, but the teapot has no lid, there's no creamer. There were jugs and plastic bowls and yarn. I probably should have flipped that yarn over to see if it was one of those sets that comes with all the yarn that you need. It would have been new in the package. That's very, very modern. This very is very absolutely modern. contemporary. I can tell by looking at the pieces. This, however, looked a little bit older, but once you look on the bottom, it was $12.99, so it's not going to sell for very much. This I thought was cute, but you guys know, I have a problem with cute. And I like these little metal things, although his, his nose is broken. His ear is broken. <coughs> I could do the two for it was not a good pickup. Um, this was a millennial collectible. I didn't look at it very closely. Um, I thought for 367 if it's, it's you know, come from my collection, maybe I would look it up. It says made in China, that I can stay there. There was a lot of Christmas stuff, but most of it was contemporary or it was plastic. So I went back to this and looked at it again, and then I looked at the snowman, and then I looked at the vase, and then I saw this on the top shelf, and then I decided that I should probably look this up, and then I didn't. But I decided to pick up the Millennial Collection, and I'm going to put it in the room to look it up later. This was a cute little snowman. Looked like he had been skiing and he, or snowshoeing, and he fell down in the snow. But there's that made in China sticker, so it's contemporary. And I'm going to go down the other side of the aisle. There's that uh, tea set that Amanda had found and some mugs and some clear glasses and again the shelves it's nice because you can see every single thing but it's not full enough that I, I guess I just like the humps and I decided to leave that on the shelf um, I'm guessing that those are all Christmas trees that are for sale this was a cute set um, they had the plates and the bowls and the cups, but it was too close to Christmas to be able to sell it. This was a bird, but there was no maker's mark. It could have been hot, it could be pottery, it could have been an obvious piece. It's very springy. Um, if it was February or March, I would probably buy it. I probably would have bought uh, the. At first, I thought it was a stepping stone. But when I picked it up and turned it over, it did have the thing to hang it on the wall. So it's actually a wall to wall. I probably would have bought both of those. And um, this was so pretty because it had all these pretty colors on it. And I've never been too impressed with it. Bottom. 
um, they do look like they all came from some factory. Um, those are not you know, done uh, in the fancy way from Germany. I don't think they're even hand painted. They're quite contemporary. I think they have the painting. So I left them on the shelf. That was a creamer. Didn't have the sugar with it. And I had to get up on the floor. So. And then I wanted to go back and look at this set again because, like I said before, it has the cups and the plates and the bowls and I think the dessert plates with it too. It was a cute little winter set. Um, I enjoy decorating for winter time as a season and then adding Christmas stuff to it, taking the Christmas stuff away, and then leaving the winter stuff out. Um, winter for me starts right after Thanksgiving and goes all the way into you know, February and maybe March. But I decided to put it on the shelf. I did look at all the figurines that were up above. They were this one I picked up is contemporary. This one is probably the obvious piece. And this one, I liked the glaze on it, but I think it was an obvious piece. Um, this one does have a duck, but um, no markings on it. I thought this was really cute, but I didn't see any resale value for it, and it wasn't something that I would use very often. I have a um, granite cheese plate and a knife. So that stayed on the shelf also. This was nice and colorful, but it was only sugar. There was no cream with it. You know, I know somebody's going to break the cream or sugar and need the other, but just sell better when they have both of them. And we are into the Christmas stuff. Um, all the stuff in the boxes. Maybe I should have taken more time. Maybe I should have looked at them and looked each one of them up. But I did not. And again, here's another one of those little metal ones. Very contemporary. Um, $2.98, $2.99. This was interesting. I thought maybe it had some age to it. But And I really expect to see lots and more Christmas stuff at the first of January. Um, this is a very well-done plate. Oh, it's such a well-done plate. It's Linux. I'm going to look this up and put it in my arm right now because I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, she went over to the I didn't even take the tab Metal Angel, which I have a few metal angels, but they're wires. And each one of them has a different instrument. That's cool. 
So that stayed. Oh look, there's another angel. This one's playing with her. Looks like she has all her fingers because they're all together and it's a music box. Quite interesting, but made in China, which makes it contemporary. I would have bought this for myself, but I didn't totally get to it. I don't know if I'm going to need a lot of And oh my gosh, it is a leather. later it is the permaculture crisis frozen tundra it's ice mageddon out there the children are in sweaters mom and i are in socks and slippers if you know me you know i am a barefoot human but i am wearing socks and slippers in the house full of the covers it's like two outside our it's high today is going to be six it's a whole two degrees i know a lot of people have it a lot worse i hope there's some place i'm not easy. complaining they turn on the water and the water freezes as it comes out of the Hope everybody's staying tap, warm. Yeah. Um, if you're in Texas, check and see if Greg Abbott's still at home. If he's out of town, you better do something emergency wise. Because you know it's going to get bad. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Thank you so much for coming along to Goodwill with us. Um, what was your favorite find? My new best friend. Um, I added this. This actually is uh, came in a set of two idiot straps that mom got me. One is on my phone and one's on my cane. And they match. So that way when I forget my shit, people are like, oh, these items belong to that idiot over there that didn't strap herself to the idiot strap. I'm going to be using this friend until about February 6th-ish. I go back to work next week. So she's rose gold. 
it's a Walgreens a moment. We got her for a whole eight dollars, and she had never been used before. Sophie approved. Sophie approved. Sophie approved. Um, we did not get the children's clothes. Um, Mac is not happy. He just like stood there like no. Auntie Sean got this hoodie that he's wearing for so so long time ago, but it actually fits him better. Um, but but he's, he's just like Ugh. he's not best pleased <laughs> like, about being in a hoodie. Just, like paralyzed. Sophie's um, okay with being in her Thanksgiving sweater. I think my favorite find was probably the squishimal. The squishimal. We got a u. A pink unicorn. Norwal. We got a you norwal. Sure? We got a norwal. Okay, I thought it was a unicorn. Um, I think it's the first big squishimal we've ever found, and um, I did go ahead and pick up that Fenton plate or the Lennox plate. Um, it is a collectible, quote unquote, plate, um, but there weren't very many listed. If you looked at it, it really only had a 50% sell through rate, but it's one of those things if you collect them, you collect them, and it's going to be. We'll um, just wait for the right person that really wants one of those specifically. Yeah, something that you want. Um, thank you so much for liking. Thank you for all your comments. We do enjoy um, reading all your comments. Or not comments, I don't know. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you, and anything you want to say? Oh, I was going to say, I don't know if we, if it's in the shot, but we looked up, um, I looked up like six brand coats, and just none of them had matches, and also like those coats weren't selling through. It was good stuff, like Massimo, Free People, whatever. Free Country. Um, but it's just not, didn't have a record of resell, so like perfect for a thrift for me personally. Because I know it's harder to find, um, it can be harder to find extra large coats in the style that you want, but, um, yeah, it was more like stuff that would have been good for me had I needed a coat versus stuff that was like actual treasure that needed to go in the shop. Yeah. And I do have a box coming, um, I bought a few things from Chris at Flip the World, and both of the items are, um, for the shop. And, uh, we will leave that for another short, quick video, maybe a, a we'll short open that some other day. Only, there's only um, a couple in there. But if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow Dingle Life Treasures on Instagram because you get a preview of what's going to be on. And you'll see a lot more haul. Yeah. And, back, back. Well, there's Dingle Life Treasures if you want to see stuff about the shop. Except for days like today when I did an Instagram thing for him and I put it on. This is the shop today. I put it, I put it this on the wrong. This is what we're doing. I know, but I have the puppers in me for the dogs and I accidentally put what I did on the wrong, on the wrong account. But anyway, it's the puppers and me, um, no spaces, if you want to see all the dogs and, um, Rip is doing great. Um, David's already letting him off the leash. Sophie said, Rip, where? Which I, where? Oh, David, that's not a we're good not, idea. That's we're not, not medical at, advice. We're not, we're not at, there yet. We're not at four or five days yet, but he cannot keep him from jumping on the bed. He's been getting on the bed. He's been playing with his toys. He's been mean. He thinks he's all better, Yeah. which is great, but we got to be careful. Yeah. Careful yeah. with his incision. So. Yeah. And as always, remember that you can always mention in the comments if the things that you see is something I should have picked up and I didn't or something I should not have picked up. And you I did. Something that we missed. Yeah. Um, I noticed that the shelves were not as full as I thought. And there was a lot of Christmas stuff, and there was a lot of people going through the Christmas stuff. And I was like, like where the, where's what the kind of timetable are y'all on? Because where's the week before Christmas? I mean, obviously, it wasn't resellers. It was just, yeah. I don't know, people decorating their homes or offices or something. Because we started Christmas August. thinking, like, August. September for, really. for buying for buying for, for the buying shop. for the shop yeah. so and um I did sell a, a set of Christmas plates I think there were seven they're not the sewed ones they're not the ones with the Santa on the top of the tree are you keeping but they're the other they're from somebody else but the set of seven I paid less than a dollar for each one so I had less than seven dollars in it and I sold it for over a hundred dollars but I had it for over a year I think I still have the bowls. Um, but follow me on Instagram. Um, Miranda is changing her shows on Crystal Clear downloads on whatnot. Um, 
is there a way for them to get to you on whatnot and get the the free ten dollars? We'll put the link in the comments for you guys to get a ten dollar coupon, which is plenty. You could get a mini magical scoop for ten bucks in my shop, um, or you could get ten hand picked tumbles. Um, you can it's spit crystal. it with anybody. You can spit it with anybody, but it'd be nice if you spit it with me. Ten bucks, uh, crystal clear downloads on whatnot. We are not going to be doing Thursday night shows anymore. Um, me and my new best friend are going to work. Going back to work next Tuesday. Also, comment what I should name her. Haven't named her yet, so y'all comment. And, and stickers we'll don't stick. And the stickers won't stick to this metal. So what gives? Um, so mobility aid friends, tell me what you decorate with. I was gonna sticker the heck out of her, but not. And then also let me know what we should name her. Um, and we'll tell you who wins or whose suggestions yeah. that we take. So no more Thursday show because I'm going back to work full time. Believe it or not. Um, with restrictions. With lots of restrictions. So Sunday at 4 and Tuesday at 8 from now on, Central Time. Sunday 4 p.m., Tuesday 8 p.m. Um, unless otherwise noted, if we do like an in-person one, all that information will always be on Facebook. But whatnot shows are now Sunday and Tuesday. And the Tuesday show might change to later. Depending we'll see. how the day goes and how soon she can get home and how far our drive is. And I don't want to be staying mm -hmm. up to, I mean, I love y'all and I'm a night owl, but when I'm back to work, okay. I don't want to stay up and party until all You can't all be ages. having a show at 10 and be going to bed at midnight, and God forbid I have to work the next day. You, you know? have to work the next day uh, at normal time in the morning. Yes. I'll be dragging my hiney in with me and my cane and my caffeination going, I'm here and that's it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we'd love for y'all to come and hang out me. with us. Mm -hmm. We do freebies. Uh, all the readings are always free. We do giveaways. All the scoops come with bonus items. There's just a lot of ways for you to get the most of the most of the most. And then you can learn lots too. Over at Crystal Clear Downloads. How much? Uh, the mm. She's on TikTok. TikTok. Jingle Eyes Treasure is on Instagram. And the Puppets of Me are on Instagram. But remember, as always, you are blessed with your blessings. To go out and make today a great day. Bye. Mwah. Bye.